taste challenge the battle of the beers milwaukee's best premium beer and laughing dog 219er this one says may 11 2015 this one says nothing okay so milwaukee's best wins because it has a better label than this one and it has the date and this one does not and it's a cheaper price this one's a lot more expensive but the real challenge is which one tastes better and another thing is can I tell them apart some old beer brands here's an old Strohs can probably from the 1970s or early 80s America's only fired brewed fire brewed beer not anymore here's one from 1996 Strohs Minnesota. I bought this in Minnesota. And from years later, a bottle. Can't get Strohs in Louisiana or anywhere close to Louisiana that I can tell. On to the taste challenge. Okay, laughing dog. Wow, I filled that one up enough. Filled it to the rim. Both Pilsner type beers, light lagers, both adjunct lagers. And I believe both use corn as the adjunct. All right. I don't recall the laughing dog. Two, two, one, niner using rice. Okay. The Miller beer has a thicker white head and a darker, ultra clear appearance. This one has a much thinner white head. They're both crackling. and a very cloudy appearance with lots of little sediment chunks little tan sediment chunks throughout so I think the Miller has a nicer appearance but you might enjoy the hazy look I'm not gonna be able to look at these beers because that'll be a sure giveaway so um, let's see what happens Milwaukee's Best introduced in 1895, then reintroduced or reformulated and then reintroduced in 1984 by Miller after they had bought, well they had bought Gettleman in 1961 but they kind of revamped Milwaukee's Best. And I believe it was a little higher ABV years ago, now it's 4.3. Laughing Dog, I don't know when that beer came out but not too long ago. Okay, I can't tell, I've mixed them up so much. Let's go with this one. Uh, it's got that standardized lager graininess aroma kind of that Miller character yeast character um, it's kind of musty <coughs> okay but maybe it ain't Miller but I think it is now let's go with this one this also has that mustiness that yeastiness, that breadiness, that grain character. Mm -mm. Mm, this could really be a challenge. Mm -hmm. The aromas are different, <coughs> but they're not, and I like to use this word a lot, appreciably different. Let's go with the flavor. And also I can't say one aroma is better than the other. This one has some creaminess, creaminess, creaminess in it, some lemony aspects. Some sweet sugariness. The hot bitterness is there, but it's very low. This one. Gr 
grain, sweetness, like the other one, corn adjunct, I guess, some low hop bitterness. Um, sugariness. Really nice. I like this one a lot. Really nice. I like this one a lot. This one might be a little drier. Man, the, the flavor, I'm telling you, is so similar. And I still have the receipt on the Laughing Dog, but I know it wasn't 59 cents a can. I mean, I bought the Miller $17.99 for this, the Milwaukee's Best Premium. I say it's this. I don't know. I'm thinking this is the Milwaukee's Best. $17.99 for a 30-pack, and I don't know what it was. I could look it up. It was over a dollar for sure, like a dollar fifty or something. All right, here's the test. All I have to do is look at it. I don't have to look at the tags. Holy smokes. Laughing dog. I thought that was the Miller. And of course, this is the Miller. It's Milwaukee's best. And I wasn't sure. I thought that might be the laughing dog. Well, in this case, who wins the challenge? It's a tie. They're both really good. Miller might have a slight edge in the appearance, but, you know, you might enjoy the haziness. But in the flavor, they're both really good. It's a, it's a tie. I couldn't tell them apart, as you could see, so you can take, take that as you want to take it, but maybe price does matter at least in uh, lagers macro versus lagers micro or craft so hey well interesting very interesting <clears throat> thank you for watching this video challenge production